surgeons have access to all sorts of tools and devices, but for one Dane County man, it's a unique instrument that played a key role when he had a brain operation nearly two years ago. Yeah, like a, a musical instrument, Literally. not a medical instrument. CBS 58's Ellie Nakamoto White joins us live now in studio with the very uh, interesting details, Ellie. <laughs> Jessup, Amanda, that's right. You know, they say music can be healing, but for Brian Rust of McFarland, he had no idea just how true that statement was. It's a family tradition. My father played trombone and my uncle played trombone, so there is some family history behind it. That caught the ear of Brian Rust. I just enjoy playing it. So when several years ago, he noticed playing was getting harder. It would almost feel as though somebody else was grabbing it and kind of shaking it. Rust met with a neurologist who diagnosed him with an intention tremor. So I said, what's left? And she said, well, you could look into uh, surgical options. Deep brain stimulation is a uh, procedure where we place small wires into a patient's brain. But for DBS, you have to be awake. So because I knew that they ran tests um, while they were doing the surgery, I said, well, could I bring my horn in? That led to this. Are you feeling any of that coldness or tingling in your hand at all, Brian? I got the impression that all of the staff were watching me because that was pretty unusual for them. Now Rust has a device in his chest. And that um, modulates the cells in that area and improves its tremor. It also has two settings, one for every day and one Rust likes to call my trombone setting. At night, he turns it off. So every night I have a reminder of what life could be like if I didn't have this device. Before waking up to continue doing what he loves most. Oh. Pretty impressive. Well, this November actually marks two years since the surgery happened, and he's actually gearing up for his next performance, which is happening at the end of the month. That is uh, mind-blowing. <laughs> Yes. N no more amazing uh, performance than that. <laughs> no, definitely not. And what's cool is that his doctor who performed it actually played the trombone himself in high school. So he was really excited to see it brought into his operating room. <laughs> you said it very well. I can't imagine having brain surgery for one. Nope. Can't imagine having brain surgery and being awake for two. And then playing and then <laughs> the trombone? <laughs> During brain surgery. <laughs> That's wow. a lot. Impressive, but he's, he's doing well. So Thank I'm you. I'm so glad yes. that he's yes. fine and great. Oh, my God. <laughs>